today i'll be creating a simple logo using publisher and you don't have to be a graphic designer to create this logo that we'll be doing today and um, it won't be long so come along and let's get started so let's go to publisher to start our simple logo and of course you can use any of these blank pages but i'm going to use a thank you card because i just like that size create and i don't need a picture because it's i'm creating a logo All right so first let's start off by creating a text box and you go in the toolbar right here and you go like this and these little circles and squares looks like squares you can move them around in and out like that all right so let's stretch let's get it out like that all the way to the end yes so, all the way to the end now I need a background so you go to drawing format and you click the shape fill and I'm going to use black there you go let's go to the font bar and I'm going to choose whatever font and you can choose whatever font just play around with it and see which font you would like I will choose botany MT black Oh no and of course we need a font color and I'll use orange and for the size I'll say I want it to be very big so let's just say 150 for now and enter right so let's call our logo Cardi make sure the cap lock is on because that's the style I'm working with and it's Cardi, C-A-R-D-I, right? And if it's not big enough for you, you can make it bigger. So let's center it, click on home again and center. And of course, I think I want my Cardi to be bigger. So I'll highlight it again and I go here, I'll go with one, 70 and enter so this is the size we are working with and we need a slogan let's say uh it's a clothing store so let's say it's called the clothing boss that's that's what i'm going with so i'm on home already so go to draw text box and yes you move your little box wherever you please just move this a little let's choose a color first let's choose let's say white And of course it's very small so let's put it to say mm, 48 and you want it to let's take it all the way to the end these little box this little dot box all the way to the end all right just to see if we can have some kind of alignment going so we want to get creative now pull this little tiny box up a little bit and create a space here and a space here between these words and also these better as well the Space here, space here, space here, space. Just play around with it until you feel like you're happy. Alright, so. I 
I still think it needs to go down a bit so let's create another space here and one here and it's a little bit to my liking yeah perfect so now we have a simple logo and for persons who might like need a symbol you can go to Google and just type free logo image free image and you'll find images that you might like and um, try to look for one that does not have a background I will put a link um, in the description where you can find free images for the purpose of time I have already found like a little little symbol that I will use so you don't have to create anything from scratch so let's go for that right now it's on my my desktop here so I'm gonna go copy you go to copy and look for publisher and yeah you just paste it anywhere right and of course you're gonna try to resize it go back to these little small dots or circular dots and you bring it right in until you feel like you're satisfied this is really big so I'll make it very small or smaller So when you grab your images, you just move it around, however, right? Whatever word you choose as your logo, you have to find where your image will fit. I'll leave mine at the eye because I think that's the best place for it. Yeah, and it looks good to me, right? Of course, you need to save your logo. And as I said, if you want to make sure that everything is center, you can play around with right here and try to make it, you know, as center as possible. Right. So let's go to file, save as. And desktop and we'll name our image simple logo one let's call it that right and of course you save it as a PNG file that means you don't need any background and you just say save Let's go to the file and here it is. So let's open it. Ta-da! And there's your logo. And of course you need to crop it out to the size that you need. So you can make it smaller if you wish. And of course you need to save it again. Let's call it logo 2 this time and save. Right, and there it goes. Cardi the clothing boss. You have come to the end of my simple logo video using Publisher. Stay tuned for more advanced logo using Photoshop and more. Comment below and let me know if this was simple for you. Thank you for watching and please remember to share with a friend. Have a great one.